Good morning, y'all. This is Friday, May 12th in Alabama, and it's cloudy and going back and forth from raining to not raining. And I'm about to get started with my makeup. Excuse me, I think there was a couple of burps there. Um, but I just got through plucking my eyebrows a little bit. Um, and got close to this magnetic, this magnifying mirror right here to see them. I noticed these horrible, horrible bags under my eyes. I don't guess they're going to go away. They're going to get worse, but they're pretty puffy this morning. And if y'all have a suggestion for puffy eyes, comment. Let's hear it. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started with my makeup. For you newbies, I already have a uh, moisturizer on my face. And... Uh, I'm going to start off with some concealer here. First thing I got my hand on was this NYX stuff. So I'm going to use this this morning. And I'm going to split this mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's get you back a little bit. Get that mirror in front of here. There we go. So, um, let's get the concealer on. And it's so rainy and cloudy out there. I've got things I need to take care of today. And once again, I want to just jump back in it, cover up, and sleep. And uh, that was an idea. And I'm like, no, no, go shower. Get, get on with it and get your things taken care of. So that's what I'm doing. And just get some right down here. Oh, this stuff is this stuff is kind of kind of like a I don't know, I can feel it kind of like the a little bit of burning sensation in my eyes. Well, I don't know why. Okay. Where's my Kleenex box? Oh, there it is. Okay. It's about to say. Went around the house distributing Kleenex, Kleenex boxes the other day. And I'm like, I need to put one on my vanity. This stuff is burning my eyes. I've used it before and I don't remember it doing this. Oh. Oh, well, that's probably going to make my eyes water. Oh, well. I enjoyed doing that live last night. And uh, I know Carla is the one that usually says she gets cut off. But Carla was with me from the get-go. And um, it was more in the daytime and somebody said the most time they get cut off is at night time so I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not so we'll see where is that makeup brush well I think it's dried out enough so I'm gonna go back to the makeup brush feels a little bit better than it did last week when I washed it the wrong way lesson learned so um it's an Ulta brush that's all I can tell you. And I do not put it on the brush. I put it on my face. And this is Milani Light Beige. And what's the other color I've got here? The other color I've got is Light Beige too. Okay. And they're both 103. Just checking. I was thinking they were two different colors, but... Okay. Oh, me. Mm. 
Okay. And our little brush that will be right there. Okay. So let's get this little brush going back to doing its job. Yeah, it ain't doing too good of a job. I guess I'm just gonna have to see about getting some new brushes. I'm just not too particular this morning because it is raining outside and I'm gonna have to do some errands and be out in it and but it doesn't, as you can see, let's see. It looks real dark up here on the forehead. But doesn't look dark down here. I don't know. Maybe it's just the lighting. And I'm going to take some of this BB cream. And just, uh, I will put this on the brush. And put some right down here on the neck. And this was CoverGirl. Just to kind of help it maybe not have a line. <coughs> <coughs> and Asia, if you're seeing this, I hadn't heard from you in a while. Hope it's all good there in cold, cold Alaska. Okay, that's good. Yeah, what else? What else? The blush. Baby Essence or Baby Got Blush. I always get the name wrong. Right there on the cheekbone. And y'all, my numbers are just stagnant right now. Not going up, not going down. It's like staying at 701. And it's been that way for over a week. I don't know what's going on there. I don't care. I mean, I, I don't, I do and I don't. I would like for it to get to 1,000. But if it doesn't, it doesn't. Not going to worry about it. And then I go back in and I just tap this blush in with the little wedge. And I was going, last night I said it in the live, I was gonna maybe get my son to check in to, what is that? To check in to see about, um, you know, for one thing, how to see who my subscribers are I still don't like the fact that I don't know who is subscribed to this channel. And, I don't know. Can't get that little black speck off. I pressed too hard, I'm gonna wipe off the makeup. I don't know where that came from. But, come on. Now I'm digging the makeup off. Oh well. You know what, you can just stay there. It'll look like a freckle. Y'all probably can't see it. It's so small. But anyways, yeah. I would like, you know, with 700 subscribers, I only hear from maybe uh, really a tenth of that 700. And it could be like anything. You know, we all do it. We'll go subscribe to someone and we'll hardly ever comment or even watch most of the videos that or whatever it is we subscribe to. So that's probably the case, but. Okay. All right, then. Yeah. 
And this is CoverGirl 110. And I don't always go powder over that blush just to, you know, kind of look at, kind of make it, uh, have some glow to it outside of the, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, highlighter. Y'all can't get my words out today. Uh, one while. See, uh, CC, if you were here, you could say that for me. You could tell me the words I need because you already know them. Okay. And I just go on top of the, uh, cheekbone. That little booger right there is going to drive me crazy. I still don't think y'all can see it. It's just a little black speck right there. And it can't be my mascara or anything because I don't have any on, so I don't know where it came from. And then come back up here with this highlighting brush and do practically my whole eye. But it's mainly for the brow. Okay, that's that. And... Little lipstick. Let's get this NARS thing. NARS. Blot it. And then go back over it with uh, Manivia. Eyeshadow. What are we going to do today? Just pull one out. Okay, this is what I pulled out. This will work. And this thing is old as the hills, but I still use it. And uh, yeah, find me a brush. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. Is this the one I want to use? I think this is the one I want to use. Or no. No? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I'm just going to pick out a darker color out of this and go over the crease. And get, the, get this one right here. That one right there. Whoops. Watch what you're doing. Okay. That's pretty dark. I really didn't want it that dark. But. Doing a little bit different this morning. down there and a little bit under the bottom lash okay now I'm gonna come back maybe I should clean it right have it ready to use next time 
Okay, that's how I clean my brushes. Works for me. Okay, and this towel's willing to fall. Okay, my turban head. Oh, and that reminds me, this is something, y'all. Okay, I'm going down the interstate. And everything today is so politically correct. And there's a billboard, you know, big, huge interstate billboard, and it's a pest control company. And it says, punish pets, punish pet. I meant not pets, sorry, pest. Punish pest. And like every time I pass that, I'm like, punish pest? Or is everybody so politically correct that they can't say kill them? Kill pest? Punish. Um, some, some things just get my goat. Can we not say kill things today? Like snakes, mosquitoes, fleas, and ticks? Kill them. Yeah, that's what I'm, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, punish pest. I'm like, if you're just going to punish the pest, I'm going to find me another uh, exterminator. I want somebody here that's going to kill the pest, not punish them. I'm sorry. And I'm going back in with this little color right here. I'm sorry, y'all. I just get sidetracked sometimes. Things pop in my mind and out my mouth. Seventeen minutes. <sighs> it's just me and the dogs and the cats right now. And the crows out there. We're going to have to make a scarecrow for our garden. And i tell you another thing. We're gonna, I don't know if we're going to have to set traps or what, but the stupid little armadillos are digging holes all over the place in my garden and around my garden. I guess we're supposed to punish them too. Okay. Not exactly what I was shooting for, but it'll do. That's that's that'll do for today. And um, I'm gonna go in with. Uh, let's see if this brown will work. It's brown, wet and wild. Need to sharpen it a little bit. Make it go on better. One, two, that should do. Yep. Okay. That oiled. I don't know what they're going at this morning. I'm about to have to look out because, you know, we've been having snakes. Not here at on, on our property, thank the Lord. But, I might have said this. I don't know if I said this in the live last night or not. But, uh... Sunday night, I believe it was. 
I popped on Facebook and it was, you know, I'd gone to bed, going to bed and, you know, just happened. First thing I saw on Facebook was somebody had posted in our community page and it was a rattlesnake on the back of their porch, dead. And he just, the person that posted says, hey folks, y'all be careful. He says, I literally just about stepped on this thing. He said, I was either letting the dog out or letting the dog, or something, something. He said, he had reason to step out on his back porch at 10 o'clock at night. And he said, I just missed stepping on top of it. And it was a, a good size rattlesnake. He was two doors, three doors down from me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So those crows may be squawking at a snake out there. I don't know. Oh, <sighs> so we need to get a lot more lime down around our property. Um, and then Wednesday night at church, you know, our preacher was asking if there was any prayer request. And one lady says, yeah, she said, I don't know all the details, but she says, I just got, I, someone had texted her right before she came to church saying that one of her neighbors or good friends was on the way to the ER because she had just gotten bitten by a rattlesnake. And the same lady that was asking for a request, prayer request for her friend said, she says, I'm telling y'all be careful because they're out there. Now this was Wednesday. Sunday is the beginning of the week, right? She said, I have run over three just this week. My son came up last night and he said, right before he got here, he says, I went over one, he says, and then I just squalled the tires. He says, and I went back and forth and rubbed it into the pavement. So I looked for it as I was leaving today. So he must have come up here another way than I left this morning, but... Yeah, so y'all be careful. I know it's gross. And um, down here with the black, I need to sharpen that too. This is about to the point where I can't sharpen it anymore and it's my favorite one. But I'm gonna try to sharpen it just a little bit. One twist. Okay, maybe that helped. Can't do it unless you got your mouth open. Okay. Oh no. What I do with the top? There it is. Okay. Now, voluminous. Okay. I just heard car doors shut or sound like car doors shut. Did I just hear my gate rattle? I don't know. Maybe hubby. Dogs aren't barking though. Maybe they're asleep. Maybe the dogs are asleep. I know I just heard two car doors shut. There it goes again. Must be my hubby. I think I'm about to go check, y'all. Hold on just a second. He may have to... He's working right down the road. He might have had to come up to the house to get something. Hold on. Be right back.
Yep, it is. It is. Okay, the luminous. Yep, I hear him in the garage. Usually the dogs will bark. They must have been sound asleep. And um, only because I don't want to be distracted, I am going to share my Bible verse and a little bit of what I read this morning. But I'm not going to do it on this one because I'm already up to like 26 minutes. I will do a short video, and it will more than likely come up before this one gets loaded today. Yep, I think he probably had to come back and get some tools or something. Oh, I know what it is. I know what's going on. I know what's going on. Okay. So, folks. This is. I'm not hurrying today. How about that? Did y'all notice that? I'm not hurrying today. Okay. I'm sure I'm going to have a reason to hurry here in a little bit, but. At this moment, no, I am not hurrying. Okay. So, y'all, I'm going to go. I'm going to see if hubby's here to stay or if he's going back somewhere or whatever. But, like I said, I will do a short video here with my Bible verse. And um, y'all enjoy your day. And... Adios. See ya.